Good evening. Good evening, Angel. How are you? I'm fine. And you, teacher? Doing great. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Ya terminamos, verdad? Ya es el último día. ¿Verdad? ¿Quién lo puede creer? Super rápido. <laughs> Qué rápido. Yeah. Y lástima que, que ya no vamos a seguir, verdad? Sí, fíjese, no, no sé cuál es la, la, la dinámica. Eh, yo siento que es mejor que le expliquen ellos, así no surge ninguna duda, ¿verdad? Sí, Pero, fíjese que así me, me dijeron ellos que solo los que tenían seguro nomás tenían derecho y a los, los mortales ya no. <risa> <risa> ¿No cotiza usted? No cotiza, no no, no cotizo, como no laboro, no trabajo. No trabajo. No. Qué galán que no trabajo. A ver, sí, entonces por eso, fíjese. Pero lástima, no, porque el entusiasmo lo teníamos. Lo tiene, diga que lo sí, tiene. Es. Sí, así es, cada lo tiene. Lo tiene, porque no puede dejar de practicar. Si no se olvida, el idioma inglés es... es Es así, o, sea, o todos los idiomas, mejor dicho. Si usted deja de practicar, no sí, se sí. le va a olvidar. Sí, lástima, ¿no? Porque estaba bien bonito el programa, mire. Pero como no quieren que siga. <risa> no, no, no es que no quieran, la verdad, sino que hay, hay ciertas, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Ciertos requisitos que se deben seguir, ¿verdad? Que a veces es imposible sí. para una empresa cumplir con todos los requisitos. Sí, a ver qué tal los demás compañeros, ¿verdad? Si logran entrar en el proyecto. Ojalá que sí. Ojalá que sí. Sí. Hi, Margarita. Hi, Nancy. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? How are you? So, so, teacher. So, so. No. Yes. ¿Está mal de la garganta? No. Se oye malita. <laughs> ah, okay, that's why. That's why. Okay, let me see. First question Did you finish the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay, Angel did. No, you didn't. Nancy, you still could access it. Sí, teacher, eh, pero. Al principio me dijeron que no y lo que hice fue apagar, me ayudaron uh -huh. a reactivar, pero apagué la computadora y como a las dos horas intenté y logré entrar. Así ah. es que un poco, no he terminado, pero, pero sí logré avanzar porque ayer sí no, no logré avanzar casi nada. Really? Uh -huh. Qué mal, qué mal, qué mal. Sí, porque les quiero enseñar algo muy bueno que vi hoy. Se lo voy a enseñar. Ya van a ver. Give me a second. Mi computadora se está haciendo tan lenta. Aquí me... Hello. Hello, Manuel. How are you? Uh, good. Uh, sorry. Uh, for mm, for la inasistencia for not being in class <laughs> for no estar en clase cierto, últimamente es que no he eh, eh, lastimosamente doblaron mi turno eh, por lo tanto estuve saliendo noche hoy gracias ah. a Dios pude salir temprano que le va a ayudar a Angel porque cosas? no trabaja <laughs> cabal Tengo unas dudas, no sé si me las puede responder en otro al final de la clase. Al final de la clase, fíjese que tengo otra clase. Ah, bueno, entonces. Yes, maybe tomorrow. Right? Bueno, entonces puedo dejar las dudas en el grupo. Me lo... Sí. Ok. Miren lo que tengo acá que me envió aquí el señor Angel. He finished all the models. Can you see? This is here. Yes, uh, teacher. Very good. Le vamos a dar un aplauso virtual. Yeah. Very good. So, <laughs> Bye, gracias. Uh, <laughs> el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional hace constar que 
José Ángel Cermeño Alfaro, ha participado en el curso de modalidad virtual denominado Inglés Principiante Módulo 3. Right? So you see there, uh, it is signed by Insafor. Entonces es válido, ¿verdad? Tiene los logos acá en Insafor Online, Inglés Corporativo. Entonces él, de hecho, lo puede incluir en su currículum. Right? Entonces ya terminó el módulo. Cuando termina el módulo, recibe el diploma. ¿Correcto? Eh? Congratulations. Congratulations, sí. Angel. Muchas gracias. Gracias, teacher y compañero. Good. Gracias. Les quería mostrar para que vean lo que van a recibir al final del curso, ¿verdad? Y ojalá, y ojalá que sigamos, ¿verdad, teacher? Tal vez más adelante ¿Eh? dijeron que tal vez nos dan la oportunidad. Sí, a tal vez. Que nos cotizamos. Tal vez así que, que sí. Ahí es de estar tal pendiente. Que... Sí, así es. Y uh -huh. es de estar pendiente en ellos, en esa forma. En Insafor y en Inglés Corporativo. Ah, va. Está bien. Sí, Gracias, Inglés Corporativo. Ok, perfecto. So, congratulations, Angel. Right. Uh, Manuel, what are your questions, Manuel, before we start? Yo creo que es sobre lo que, sobre la nueva inscripción, sobre el cambio de horario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Creo que y, ahora van a ser dos horas. Yep. Y there will be two hours. Pero ya le, le están hablando a todos, se han saturado por, por todos los estudiantes que se están comunicando con ellos, pero ellos van a estar trabajando con ustedes eh, durante el, la final, finalizando esta semana y comenzando la siguiente, van a estar eh, escribiéndoles a todos. Ayer yo envié dos documentos que me autorizaron a enviar anteriormente al WhatsApp y ahí tiene los contactos abajo donde usted se puede comunicar para que ellos le den como toda la, la información de, de los cursos. ¿no? Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Yes. Thanks. So, you're welcome. So, let's start here. Hello, Saúl, Margarita, Jessica, Gaby, Miguel, Jesse. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> so, we're going to start now that I have almost everyone. And you had homework yesterday, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. Um, <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, teacher. so I want to know if you finish this exercise. It says, a strange but true. I complete the sentences with verbs in the past simple. Choose from get on, eat, speak, write, have, and sit. Right, those are the exercises that we have. So who, ha who completed all the answers? Tenemos un botoncito y que dice levantar la mano, tal vez me ayuda. Así se nos hace un poquito más fácil. So, who wants to start? We have number one. Ok, Angel, go ahead. Este, bueno, yo lo hice así, no sé si está bueno, pero me corrí. Okay. Go ahead, don't worry. A woman in Russia had 69 children between... 1725 and 1785. 1765. Very good. Very good. A woman in Russia had 69 children between 1725 and 1765. Very good, Angel. That's perfect. So please copy the answers. Had. Now, another person for number two. Another person? Nobody? Did you finish the exercise? No? No. Two. No. Two. Okay. Only Angel. Okay. So I'm going to give you then five minutes to finish the exercise. El que quede un Angel que aprovechó. Okay. So we have, that's what we're going to do. We have two, three, four, and five that is, are still pending. Right, you have the verbs there. We're going to work in small groups right now, okay? We're going to work in pairs. Okay, there we are. Please, you already have the picture, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to, to answer the exercise and it will take no more than five minutes. En cinco minutos regresamos, okay? Let's go. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ahora es práctica, chicos. Let's go. Click on join. Click on join. 
Very good. Utilice el, el chat, Ernesto, para compartir sus respuestas con los compañeros. Los, los verbos. Sorry, Gaby y Miguel. Ernesto, Ernesto doesn't have a microphone. So he will be writing the answers on the chat, ¿ok? Okay, uh, okay teacher. Los escucha bien, dice, pero, pero eh, él les va a compartir las respuestas también por el chat, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Wonderful, wonderful, perfect. Ok. <laughs> ah, great. Ernesto. Okay, number one is had. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Is had number two. It has no. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, this had had seri seri nine hot dogs in ten minutes. Mm. No, it would that sería... be the correct part? Mm, no. Mm. El pasado, it had. Mm. Ad, no, es at. Eight. 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 Nine, no, one, yes, one thousand mm -hmm. nine hundred a night, nineteen night, ninety, sorry, uh, nineteen, nineteen, eighty two, nineteen two, and mm -hmm. nineteen three. Eighty-three, okay. Timothy Roy, uh, right is right is right. What is the past tense of right? Right, right is got got on. Mm -hmm. Get on. Oh, okay. Got on in a three. First, first, what is the past tense of right? ¿Cuál es el pasado de paz? De, 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 del pasado del paz. <risa> ¿Cuál es el pasado? Ya me tienen loca usted. ¿Cuál es el pasado? ¿Cuál es el pasado de right? <risa> right. Road. Road. R O D E. Road. Yeah. Oh, R O D E. e. Exactly. E. Oh, road. Row in a tree in California for four four hundred thirty one days. 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 Very good. Okay. Four. University lecturer Natasha Romanov. Mm -hmm. University spoke, uh -huh. spoke non stop about bud Buddhism. Buddhism for oh. 159 hours. Hours, very good. Buddhism. Hours. Hours, very good. Hours. Hours. Okay. okay, very good. Hours. Just gonna go to one more room and then we're fine. Es simil. Yes. Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> and, and five example George Hood and uh, sight uh, is sentarse, verdad? Eat, 
sit, ajá, sit. Sit, sit, uh -huh. sit. Uh, for, for row, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Es como montar. Entonces estamos en esa, en esa duda. Ok. Es? What would be uh, I, I think that What is your hood road a station bicycle. Road a stationary bicycle. And yeah. after that, it for more than 111 hours. Okay. But I know. So we have three verbs, right? Get on, road, and sit. Mm -hmm. Those are the problem. Le vamos a ver, no se preocupe. Teacher. <laughs> yep. Tell en me. el caso de los números, podemos pronunciar, por ejemplo, 2013. Podemos pronunciar primero 20 y después 13, o tiene que ser todo el número. 2013. 2013. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya se más fácil así. Uh -huh. 2013. Very good. Okay. 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 Are you done? Yes? You finished? Yes, finish. yes. okay. Let's finish this and let's go to the main room, okay? Let's go. Hello. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you for coming. Okay, we'll go. I'm going to show you right now. You're going to tell me the answers, right? Uh, at this moment, and I'm going to show you the some pictures because uh, some groups you had questions about three verbs. Right, you have you had questions about three verbs, so that's what we're gonna do. Right, let's see first. Now, a moment. Okay, now I don't want to show you this. I want to show you this. We have three verbs. The first verb that we have is ride. Okay, look at the look at the picture here. Ride. Right. When we ride, right, usually we ride a bicycle. We can ride a horse also, right? And usually we do this. When it comes to the bird ride, we're going to have a picture like a horse here or like a bicycle or a motorcycle, right? Is that part clear? Is that clear? Porque varios me preguntaron como la diferencia entre esos verbos. So we have the first one, right, is ride, right? The second verb is get on, right? Look at the pictures for get on. This is get on. Subir. Exactly. Very good. Pero, se, Usually. Se, no, mm -hmm. no me queda claro el ride. Este, ¿Cuál es la interpretación en sí? What do you right. think it is? Viaje? No. Es como montar la bicicleta. Exactly, exactly. Very good. Very good. This would be like you ride a motorcycle, you ride a bicycle, right? Or you ride a horse, an animal. Uh, like, okay. Para like entender. This one. Ride es como la acción de montar. Puede exactly. ser bicicleta, caballo, puede ser una montaña rusa, puede ser eh, mm, un viaje. No, Le, really. no, no una montaña ejemplo, rusa. Ok, porque uh -huh. eh, eh, hay lugares que dice ray para que usted se suba a la montaña o al paseo de ciertos lugares. Y si está la palabra ray. Uh -huh. Yes, but remember these are verbs. Right? When you when you're saying right, in that case, que se dice paseo, ya no es como un verbo, sino que es como un sustantivo. It's a noun. Mm -hmm. Entonces, hay palabras, hay palabras en inglés 
que no solamente funcionan como verbos, sino que también eh, como sustantivos. Por ejemplo, la palabra book. Right? Book. You know this word? Book. Si usted uh -huh. lleva la palabra book, usted sabe que es libro. Right? Uh -huh. That's what you have. But, uh -huh. but if you go to a hotel, you say, can I book a room? Yeah. Ya no lo va a utilizar, no va a decir, puedo eh, hacer un libro en un, en, un, en un cuarto. No, cuando usted utiliza la palabra book y está en el contexto de un hotel, por ejemplo, lo que quiere decir es que quiere reservar un cuarto. Entonces el significado cambia totalmente con base en el contexto. En este caso... En el, lo... uh -huh. el contexto ¿Cuál? que se vea, el verbo es el significado que se le podría traducir. El verbo, ahorita es right, lo estamos utilizando como un verbo. Right? That's what we're doing. It, it's a verb. Pero si usted lo ve, por ejemplo, en otras, por ejemplo, cuando dice, give me a right. Entonces, cuando dice, give me a right, no le está diciendo, eh, no, está, no lo está utilizando como un verbo, sino que como un sustantivo. Mm. Que como que le deme un aventón. Right? De ahí viene la palabra, hey, dame right. Entonces, dependiendo del contexto, sí van a significar okay. las palabras. En este contexto, significa montar. Usualmente, motocicletas, bicicletas, caballos. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, Thank very you. good. Good. Now we go with get on, right? With get on, right, usually it's just this action and it's used, right? Like in this context, when you get on a bus, Get on a plane, get on, for example, right here, get on a, a minivan, right? You get on a ship, a train, right? That's where you can use it, right? That's where you can use get on. And then we have sit, that is it, right? Sit means just to stay in a chair, for example, like this baby, right? Like this person. And that is the meaning of sit. Is that clear? Yes? Sit, like yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, let's go ahead and share right now the answers that you have, okay? Give me one moment. Okay, now, what do you have here for number two? Let me know. What do you have for number two? Eat. It's eight. Okay. Eight. Eat eight. or eight? Eight. 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 Very eight. good. Very good. Eight. Very good. What about uh, number uh, three? But read the complete answer. Read the complete sentence. In one cup of Okay. Gabi? Okay, teacher. In one thousand one hundred night eighty two eighty three Timothy Roy seed in a tree in California for four hundred thirty one days. Okay, very good. What is the past tense of sit? Sat. 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 Okay, very good. Sat. Very good. Remember we're using past tense. Very good. Who wants to do number four? Okay, Miguel. Number four? Mm -hmm. Um, university lecturer Natasha Romanoff mm -hmm. speaks non stop about Udish for no sé decir 159 or 100 like this 100 159 uh -huh. hours very good so what 
What is the past tense of speak, Miguel? Uh, I don't know. Okay. What? I spoke. I spoke. Okay, very good. I spoke. I spoke. Okay, very good. And let's see number five. Nancy. Okay. George Hull roll a stationary bicycle. Bicycle, uh huh. Bicycle. Um. Got on. If mm -hmm. it for more than one hundred. Uh, okay, don't worry. One hundred. One hundred. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. Hours. Exactly. Very good. One hundred eleven hours. Okay. Now my question now is. Listen, listen, in number five, pay attention. What do you do first? What do you do first? Do you ride the bicycle first or do you get on the bicycle? Get on. Exactly, very good. Okay. Very good. So we do, we're gonna do this, Nancy. Okay. And wrote it for more than 111 hours. Okay. You see the change? First, you do one action. Second, you 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 do the the next action, right? That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Very good. You did great. So let's see the conversation. Did we practice the conversation? I need Manuel, Manuel, and I need also Margarita. You're going to help me with the questions. This is making questions in past. We have simple pass, yes, no questions, right? And the first question is, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. So what would be the second question and answer? Manuel, please read the, the, the examples. Okay. Did you ride a bicycle? Margarita? No, I didn't. I rode a horse. Wonderful. Very good. Continue, Manuel. Okay. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Continue there, please, uh, Nancy and Angel. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Did Erica like her vacation? It, okay, Nancy? No, they didn't. Okay, we are in this one. Nancy, yes? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. She liked it a lot, very good. Continue, Angel. Did, did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? Nancy? No, they didn't. Es que estoy teniendo problemas con, con el internet. Oh. Como cortado. Ok. Voy a, voy a moverme un poco. Ok, ok. So no, they Ustedes didn't. Ustedes sí me escuchan bien. Sí yes. me escuchan bien. Yes, okay. me No, okay. they didn't. No. They went to Arizona. Okay, very good. So, we, ha we had a, question, a conversation here that we needed to practice. I right? was going to practice this conversation. Now it says here, complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. We have four conversations, right? Did you practice the conversation? No? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, very good. So we're going to have right now, this conversation is already on your uh, 
WhatsApp. Yes, and then still action is to be easy. Very good. Um, on your WhatsApp, so what we're going to do right now is that we're going to practice the conversation, right? And then we're going to share it here as a whole class, right? Just give me one moment. Let's see how many people I have now. Veamos. Okay, we're going to work here. We're going to work with different people today. There will be only one group that you will have Ernesto, but Ernesto is going to listen only. Ernesto va a estar de oyente, okay? Con Esmeralda y Jesse. So let's go ahead and start right now. Let's practice the conversation and then we'll practice as a whole class. Let's go, very good. Please join the class. Very good, wonderful. Perfect, perfect. Go ahead, Saul. Saul. Okay, let's practice. Okay, miss. I uh, start letter A, number one. Yes, you are. Okay. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I have a great summer. I go to the beach a lot. I think that is I went. Um, I, I went, perdón, I went. Um, number two. Mm -hmm. Did you did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stay here, I get, got, I got, got a part, time hot, and some make some extra money. I saw made. Made, 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 uh-huh. Made. Part-time job, say Part-time job. Mm -hmm. Part-time job. Exactly. Did you take any class last summer? Uh, yes, I did. I take. I took. I took, uh -huh. I put tennis lesson, um, I play, play tennis every day. Wonderful, wonderful. Did you speak English last summer? Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, entonces sería la otra. No, I did stay here. No, son tres. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> I went. I went. The verb go, verb go the chains at the pass. Verb. Yes, very good. Went. Do the bitch a lot? Eh, hello, bitch. <laughs> do, the bitch uh, <laughs> do the bitch a lot? Okay. Yes? In which conversation are you, uh, Nancy? Um, uh, one, the B. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to say, <laughs> por eso es que Miguel se está riendo, fíjense. 
You're going to no, work. No, yo no entiendo nada, teacher. Me... <laughs> ah. <laughs> Veo la, 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 cuando Lo parece siento. inglés corporativo es porque sé que ya está usted ahí. Oh my God. Que estoy, estoy tratando de que ya me regañó la teacher que no traduje. Exactly. Exactly. No, es que cuando traducimos nos confundimos todo. Fíjese. Pero, now, let's see here. In letter B, I just want to correct your pronunciation, Nancy. Because if okay. you say, if you say, uh, bitch is a, is a bad word. Es una mala palabra. Oh. Yes. So you say, yes, I did. I had yes, a great I summer. Did. I went to the beach a lot. I went to the beach ah. a lot. Beach. Beach. Ah, no. Beach. No. Listen. Listen. Beach. No. Okay. <laughs> Bien, me, to me, me va a tocar editar este video para mañana. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, ya entendí. En la segunda, bitch, hay que pronunciarlo bien porque si no se escucha la mala palabra. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Pero, pero ¿cómo se deletrea, teacher? Eh, la palabra. Sí, sí. La mala palabra. No, 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 no. La no, palabra no. correcta que tenemos que poner. Is I, I went to the beach Ay. a lot. The thing is that Nancy is pronouncing the word uh, bitch in a bad way. That's the, the esa es la mala palabra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, one more time, okay. Uh, Nancy. Okay. <laughs> I went. I went to the beach. Uh -huh. A lot. A lot. Very good. Very good. Very good. No me le ponga T en medio. Ah, ah, uh -huh. bitch. Y la siguiente. Uh, understand, bitch. <laughs> sí, okay. la T. Exactly. De okay. practice, de practice. Very good. Okay. So finish. We have one more minute, okay? Yes. Two. Uh, A. Miguel. Sí. Uh, A. <laughs> Did you go? Didi. Ajá. Vamos a preguntar a la a teacher. Tell me. Teacher, the verb read in pass add ed o is the same read? Read in pass? Right, is the same, but the pronunciation changes. The pronunciation is red. Like the color, red, exactly. Very good. Okay. More questions? The el verbo teacher eh, go in pass. Mm -hmm. What in is the past tense? Goes, goes, no. When. Got. No. When. Went. ¿Cómo, When. Les, sí, ¿cómo le, le, les dije que buscaran el past tense de los perros? A ver, cuéntenme. La forma más fácil. Write past tense of y the name of the verb. Ok, very good. Very good. El, el verbo y luego past tense. Right? There you are. Perfect. Okay. We're Thank you. Go. You're welcome. You're welcome. We have one more minute to go, okay? Okay, teacher. Tienen un minuto. Okay. Hello, Ernesto, Ernesto. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to practice right now. We're going to see who practice the conversations. And I'm going to have a couple of you. Algunos de ustedes van a participar en esta actividad precisamente. Right, we have four conversations, a small conversations. 
remember that they are questions, so they need to sound like questions, right? I need to have uh, Saul. Saul, ¿con quién participó Saul? ¿Con quién trabajó? Angel. With Angel. Okay, Saul and Angel, you go with conversation one. Miguel, with? Oh, ni me fijé. <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> Oh, with Nancy, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miguel and Nancy, conversation two. Okay. Then we go with uh, Gabby, conversation three. And Esmeralda and company con, Jess convers con Jessica. Okay, conversation four. Okay. okay. Very good. Let's start. Okay, one. Did you have mm -hmm. a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I I went to beach a lot. Okay. What what was the verb again, Angel? I I uh, I went to be a lot. No. Look at what I it went. Uh -huh. I went to beach a lot. To the beach a lot. Okay, very good. To the. To the. Okay, very good. Very good. To the. Mm -hmm. to the. Okay, continue. Conversation two. Two. Uh -huh. uh, is do you? Yes, the hombre tampoco lo iba a escribir otra vez. Do you? Perdón. Two. Okay, give me a second. Le voy a poner mute a todos y solo vamos a los que participar. Okay. Now I want you to talk Miguel and Nancy, please. Those are the ones that are going, are going to participate. Let's see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Manuel. Miguel. Miguel. Ah, ah. Miguel. Mm -hmm. Miguel, quítale el mute, Miguel, porque yo les puse mute a todos ahorita. Hola, por... hola. ok. Hola, <laughs> hoy sí, yes, ok. Eh, ¿Empiezo yo o empiezo usted? Usted si quiere, ok. Do you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job. So, I make it some extra money. Okay, very good. So, I made, I made. I made, made. Some, made some extra money some extra money. Okay, very good. Let's see conversation three. ¿Ya quién le dije que iba con la conversación tres? Um, I teacher. Okay, very good. Margarita. Very good. Okay, Margarita. Did you take any class last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and I played tennis every day. Okay, very good. And the last conversation. Jesse and Miranda. Exactly. Okay. Did you speak English last summer, Esmeralda? No, I didn't. But I read English books and I watch English movies. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. So just two things. We're going to pay attention here because the verb, this verb, read, the past tense is read. read. The pronunciation changes, but everything in the verb stays the same. Solo la pronunciación va a cambiar cuando lo queremos utilizar en pasado. Read, read, right? Read. And then we have this other verb. Mm. Made. 
Made is the past tense of make. Right? That's what we need to have. What, what happened here? Serían irregulares, irregular verbo. All of these are irregular verbs, exactly. Very good. So these are irregular verbs. So we need to make sure that with the pronunciation, right, we practice the pronunciation because this is very important, right? So let me share here with you. We have this and I want to share with you some other thing, right? I think some of you asked me. We have this exercise and we're going to practice a little bit with verb B in past. The verb B in past is was and where, right? So I want you to tell me where were these people born? If I have Barack Obama, Gloria Stephan, Albert Einstein, Usain Bolt, right? Where were they born? Where do you think they were born? What can you tell me about Barack Obama? Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay. What about Albert Einstein? Germany. Germany. Okay. Very good. You're on fire. And what about Gloria Stefan? Cuba. Cuba. Very good. Cuba. And you say Bolt? Jamaica. 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 Very good. So the, the structure that we need to remember here is the following. I need you to pay attention. Right? For example, we can say Barack Obama was born in Hawaii. Right? Very good. So if I have this example, how can you make the example for Gloria Stefan? Gloria Stefan. Gloria Stefan was born, born in Cuba. 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 Very good. Very good. In Cuba. What about Albert Einstein? Manuel? Okay. Albert Einstein was born in Germany. Wonderful. Perfect. And the last one, Usain Bolt. Saul. Usain Bolt. Was, was born in Jamaica. In Jamaica, okay, very good. You see, when we have this, right, we can tell, right, where people, right, were born. You can say, Sylvia was born in La Paz, right? Uh, Manuel was born in Chalatenango. Nancy was born in Cabañas, right? I'm just inventing, because I don't know, right? Estoy inventando. Okay. So, <laughs> Nancy, no, no soy de... Okay. Good. So that's what we have. The use of was and where, right? That's the use of was and where. And I need you to take a look at this. Este ya quizás va a ser el último punto que vamos a ver. But I need you to, to, to take this with you. We have this, right? The pass of was and where. Right, the past tense of the verb be, right? And it says, I was born, right? And then I don't know if you remember, I think Saul told me last time that uh, we can make changes, right? With he, she, it, and all that. Do you remember? Right? Look at this. Right? I need you to look at that, right? I need you to look at this, right? And then look at the other. Okay. So here, what we're doing is that we're using wasn't. Sorry. We're using wasn't. And we're also using weren't or were not, right? We're going to use, for example, weren't. We're going to use it for you, for we, or for they, right? That's what we're going to do. 
with was, what we're going to do is that we're going to use it with I, she, he, or it. it. Very good, right? So that's when we have a change, right? So I can say, for example, um, Angel and Margarita were born in San Salvador, right? right? Because I have they, right? Angel and Margarita were born in San Salvador. But what happens if I want to talk just about Margarita? What would be the example? Margarita. Margarita what? Should I use was or where? Was. 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 Very good. Was born. Born. In, in San Salvador. San Salvador. Right? Was born in San Salvador. That's when we're going to use it, right? So is this part clear? Yes. Yes? Okay. Very good. So let me go ahead and send you this. One second. Very good. Now, besides that, right? I want you to see also like uh, the negative forms and the, the positive form of this, right? Let's see. This is very easy, right? This is very easy. We have the past tense of the verb be. We use past simple of the verb was, look at this, was or where, to talk about a past situation, right? That's what we do. We talk about this when we talk about a past situation. So what are we going to do? We have the affirmative form, negative and question. Remember that in the question is the most difficult, most difficult because we put was or where at the beginning. Then we use the question mark. So if I have here, for example, he was happy yesterday. That would be a sentence, right? So what do we have there? We have uh, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Subject, verb, complement, right? So what is the verb here? Was or where? Is that part clear? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, just yeah. pronounce it? Okay, okay. So let's see here. I'm gonna put you here. We're gonna do this together. Vamos a hacer este junto, porque nos quedan dos minutos. So if I have here Melissa, right? It says, Melissa is talking about her family. Choose the correct verb forms, then compare with a partner. It says, my family and I were all born in South Korea. We, we what? Should I use wasn't Where? or weren't? Weren't. 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 Very good. Very good. Weren't. Weren't born in the U.S. I was, was, born, was born in the was. of oh, Asian. Okay. Oh. And my brother. And my was brother. Born. Was. 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 Very good. Was born there too. There. This is my parents. Weren't, weren't, weren't born in Incheon. They were, 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 were very good. Born, born in the capital the of capital. Seoul. In South Korea, my father was, was, was a businessman and my mother was, 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 was a teacher. Was, okay. was a teacher. Very good, very good. So this is what we have, right? In this case, we can actually see 
right? The use of was and where. This is for simple past, right? Was is for singular and where is for plurals, right? Very good. So I want to know if you have a question about this activity. Questions? Questions? Pregunten que les queda un minuto. Questions? Hay que terminar la plataforma, teacher, aunque terminemos clases ahora. Sí, fíjense que eh, hoy nos informaron, gracias por acordarme, hoy nos informaron que les van a dar dos días extra, entonces se va a terminar hasta el sábado el acceso, pero necesitan sí, que lo termine, sí, <ríe> que se termine lo antes posible. Yeah. Sí, porque ya después del domingo ya no van a poder recibir el diploma que recibió el señor Angel. Que, que, uh -huh. que ítems llega yo voy por el 5 o 8 creo 5 o 6 no estoy seguro hasta qué punto llega la plataforma o oh, como como no, no la entendí estoy, estoy en el 5.6 o 7 no no, uh -huh. no recuerdo muy bien en qué punto estoy llega uh, hasta el examen final Sí, pero mi pregunta es cuántos ítems más, 6.1, 6.0, 7. <risa> Permítame, vamos a ver acá. Llega hasta el 5, pero creo que son como 14. Son, sí, son, son, son bastantes. Ya le decimos, vamos a sección 5. Es 5.15. Ah, ok. Sí, ya le falta poquito, para ver si va por el 5.8, le falta menos. Esta okay. clase que está diciendo del was y el where, la estuve viendo anoche, estuve uh -huh. rellenándolo. This is the easy part. Uh -huh. Esto es, este es bien fácil. El was yes. y el where, con todo lo que ya vieron anteriormente, this is going to be very easy. Uh -huh. But it's a 5.15, Miguel. 5.15. Ok, thank you. Y va, el, luego de eso va el examen final que está compuesto de seis secciones. Y pasamos a la otra. Logramos matricularnos. Tenemos que tener por ley terminado ese, esta plata. Esa. Sí, no se puede mover al siguiente, al siguiente nivel si no han terminado esta plataforma. Ok. Y lo conveniente es que la terminen. Si pueden mañana, mañana. Y si no tienen dos días, permítanme, quiero ver el mensaje que nos estaba mandando. Sí, tienen hasta, hasta el, el domingo, porque entonces entre más se tarde en terminarla, ya no pueden prácticamente uh, continuar con el otro y los que quieran terminar se van a tener que inscribir hasta después en los otros cursos. Teacher, okay. y cuando no habíamos recibido el correo uh -huh. de las nuevas instrucciones y todo eso para escribirlo, dijo que le escribiéramos a usted y le enviáramos el nombre completo. Eh, sí, pero para conectarlos con el chico eh, que se llama Jonathan, que él está a cargo de la información. Eso es, ah, es vale. El contacto de él está abajo del flyer que yo les entregué ayer por WhatsApp. Le podemos escribir directamente. Sí, 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 okay. sí, no hay ningún problema. Por WhatsApp o por correo electrónico. Y chero, una preguntita. Dígame. Y será que, bueno, mi pregunta sería, ¿será que en otros casos, en otros años, no sé, este, se ha dado la oportunidad siempre de iniciar juego completo para así como yo? No le sabría decir, fíjense. Como no manejo la parte administrativa, entonces no le sabría confirmar. Sí, ah, las que más No vamos a estar pendientes. Sí, pónganse pendientes de las redes sociales, de inglés corporativo, por cualquier cosa. Oye. Eh, bueno, lo... gracias hoy. Muchas gracias por todo. Gracias por todo, teacher, por la pasta. Sí, gracias, teacher. Gracias a ustedes. I will miss you. Me gustó mucho, me ha gustado mucho el curso. Gracias. Sí, gracias. es cierto. Muy bonito. Gracias por gracias, todo. Gracias a ustedes por estar con nosotros. Feliz noche. Feliz noche. Bendiciones a todos. Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, Dios, gracias. Bye. You're welcome, Ernesto. Bye, guys.
Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.